The frenzy is about to begin as we are upon free agency. Here are the top five free agents of 2016, according to NFL.com, led by the number one free agent, Malik Jackson. But we begin today with some breaking news. Amber Theo Harris, along with Sean O'Hara and Brian Baldinger, Detroit. Very upset today as Megatron is calling it quits. Calvin Johnson announced about uh, two hours ago he will be retiring from the NFL. Since entering the league in 2007, no one has had more receiving yards, receiving touchdowns, and 100-yard games than the six-time pro bowler. Johnson released this statement. He said, after much prayer, thought, and discussion with loved ones, I have made the difficult decision to retire from the Lions and pro football. I have played my last game of football. Let me assure you that this was not an easy or hasty decision. As I stated, I, along with those closest to me, have put a lot of time, deliberation, and prayer into this decision, and I truly am at peace with it. I also want you to know that I have the utmost respect and admiration for the game of football. It has provided so much for me and my family, and I will be forever grateful to the game. Dan Sanders do you think on the announcement. If we're talking about, do you think that if we're talking about a, a different team that Calvin Johnson has an opportunity to play for, they win a little bit more, that, that we have a chance to see him play for four or five more years? Yeah, but don't forget the money. I don't know about three or five more years, maybe a couple more years, but don't forget not asking him to take a significant pay cut when he's still one of the best receivers in the game. I don't understand that. Yeah, I, I do feel like he could give you a couple more years. Calvin is so sophisticated as a player that even if he went out there and practiced on Thursday or practiced on Wednesday and rested the whips rest of the week and went to walk throughs, he can still have his timing with the quarterback that he got paid. And so we, we think about that Matt Stafford contract and the years that Calvin put in uh, before he got that. You, you feel like that's what percentage of that does he owe to Megatron? At least 70. <laughs> At least 70. Come on. We're not talking about a top 10 uh, quarterback. I love Stafford. I think he, 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 he has the tools. His quarterback was bench last season. Kelvin Johnson won bench last season, but yet it's still you are preparing yourself to ask this man to take a pay cut. All right, so that's what Deion Sanders thinks. Let's uh, check in with the playmaker, Hall of Famer Michael Irvin. You caught a few passes in your lifetime. Your boy was heated there. He was pretty upset about the Calvin Johnson retirement announcement. Uh, what are your thoughts on this, playmaker? Well, you know, I, I, I'm sad, and also, you know, I, this, we don't have enough. We don't give our guys enough credit for guys catching tags like Calvin Johnson does before these quarterbacks. So, so to see one of the greats in the game leave the game at this stage when he still has, I think, a lot of football left in him, left in him, it's certainly disappointing. I think it was interesting, Amber, as you read the statement that he put out. He really doesn't, he doesn't think it was the lion. He, he doesn't need to think. He doesn't think team at all. He said nothing. But I just want to tell you how much I love the game of football. But never, never thank you to this organization and all that you've given me and my family. Thank you to the game of football and all you've given me and my family. And when you start thinking about it as, as a Detroit Lions fan, I'm so sorry for those guys because they're going to sit here and hold on to this. One of the greatest running backs to ever play football retired early to get out of this situation. And now one of the greatest we see are re is retiring early to get out of the Detroit Lions situation. That's not a good thing to have on your record. And, Michael, along those same lines, I heard Brian Billick say earlier, you know, this guy, he's, what, he's willing to take one for the team, but he took one for the team for nine years. And so, as you're saying, did that just wear him down, even though he still has some left in the tank? Yeah, people, you know, and, and, and unfortunately for me, that my, my career didn't stay that way, but unfortunately, early on, we went through the 1-15 and, and the 3-13 and 13 season, and you're talking about something that wears on you like no other. If you are a worker, like this guy is a worker, and, and he considers everything that goes on on the football field, uh, his responsibility to correct, and you're not giving him the things that he needs around him to correct those situations. It wears on your life. Right? It's not just 
your body. Everybody's talking about the physical beating he's taking. It's a mental beating. It's an emotional beat down. You hate walking around the city because everybody points to you. Why is it going so bad? And, and, and Calvin is not that kind of type of guy that's going to bark back at you about the things that you're saying. You know, he just endure it. He takes it and endure it and internalizes it. And I think this is the result of it. Hey, I take it all I can take. I'm just done. And that, it's just a sad situation. And like, Mike, it's uh, Baldy here. And I'm just listening to what you're saying, Mike. And I'm thinking, is this an indictment on the Detroit Lions? And when you think about Barry Sanders and now Calvin Johnson, they weren't those type of players to call out the organization. But it seems to me like we're calling out the Detroit Lions here, Mike. Like, get, you know, get something straight there. Build a winner the way you built one in Dallas so that you don't lose these Hall of Fame type players. It's not just an indictment. It's a conviction. This is the conviction. We're bad. We're past the indictment phase right here. We're on the conviction phase, and we're looking. We should be talking about the penalty phase. What do we need to do to get Detroit turned around? Is it, it, there talent? Is it, there talent there? You know, a couple of years ago, we thought Detroit was ready to break out. And, 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 and you know, they'll break out and go back down. It's, it's been hard to watch. It, it, it really is. And, and I understand that. I understand, I empathize with him from my early years being here in Dallas to what he's going through for his whole career. His whole career. You've never won a playoff game. You never taste that nectar of saying, man, we won a playoff game and we are, we're on our way to, to possibly going to a Super Bowl. It's a hard, hard career when you go through your career like that and you're one of the top guys in the football team. Irv, it's your Irish brother O'Hara here. Um, listen, in the Motown, I mean, they, they've been singing the blues for a while. Like, 